Bonjour, no. Nice little hat, Jez. Yeah, where did I get it? No, I didn't get it anywhere, actually. It's my mother's. They love wearing your mother's stuff, don't you, Jez? Today, I'm going to be talking to you about going on holiday, yeah, and then coming back. Uh, if you haven't already, if you're new to my channel, just subscribe or uh, just like. Just just do anything. And if you haven't already, uh, like my Facebook page. But anyway, let's get on to it. Why is it such a f***ing pain to start the holiday? Basically, the word, even, even when you're not going on holiday, even if you just go out of town or something, yeah, when you go on holiday with your family, all right, fuck, right, let me just flick up this, yeah, so I can see ya. The first thing you get told is, have you done your last ones? Everyone knows what ones is. Ones is a piss or a poo. No, you haven't. Because if fuck it, was it my last one? No, it wasn't your last one, because that's not your last last one. That was the one you had before. So you got to go again. You went five minutes ago, go again, right? Done your last ones, no you haven't, because it's never fucking last, is it? Right, because it was the one before, right? Just go again. If you don't, if you go, done it last fucking five minutes ago. You know what you go? You're, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it on the way to the airport, or wherever you're going, on, on the hotel, whatever. You're going to regret it. So you know what? Just go. Just go now. I know we haven't, we haven't even left the house yet. We haven't left the house. Lock the doors. Is everything locked? The windows... Don't, not a fucking human being could even get through, yeah? But know what? Lock them, just in case your fucking widescreen TV fits through that freaking window that's like that fucking portal, just in case. You locked everything. You get in the car. Even though you've just been talking about fucking, have you locked everything? Did we lock everything up? She looks behind, let's say your mother or your father looks behind. Have you locked everything up? No. When you said, lock everything up, I thought, fuck it. I'm just gonna fucking stand here. Of course I locked everything up, mother. Don't worry, it's all done and dusted. Even on the way to the airport, wherever, she's worrying. So we haven't really locked it up. It's a stress, getting out of the house to go on holiday. And you get to the airport, all right? You get through customs, it's a fucking pain, innit? You've got to strip completely fucking naked to go through the beep beeps, you know, the beep beeps, the bits, what that goes. You walk through and they come. Nice little catwalk. And it's through the little thing. Beep, 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 beep. If you've got anything metal on ya, it sets it off. Never shat myself so much in my life. You've got to take everything off. Your fucking belt, yeah, your phone, your chain, your freaking shoelaces, just in case you get a bit of fucking metal on them. Everything. You take literally everything off, right, to the point where you're bollock naked, running through the fucking whatever it, whatever it is, the beep beeps, holding your bollocks sort of thing, on your cod piece, just running through. That is too much for me. Why is it so mental? Fair enough, terrorists have like mucked us off a little bit. We have to just go through it. We have to go through our own rigmarole and we I understand that. You get you get through customs or whatever it is, you get through the little beep beep beeps, and then you got four hours to fucking get on the flight. Why do they ask you to go that early? No, you have to go that early for security. Security. After the one bit of security, there's fucking no security. So don't and tell me to come early for one little bit of security. It's because they want to get home early, innit? They ask you to come early so they can go home early. Right, well, anyway, so yeah, you spent how much on your holiday? You spent £900 maybe per person, you spent a grand, maybe two grand altogether on the holiday. Fair enough. But you know what? Let's take advantage of that duty free. Fucking five pounds off. We're talking about a £50 freaking, let's say, uh, perfume, eh? Yeah? Ten pounds off, alright? Ten pounds. Gotta get that, gotta get that. All of a sudden, now it's cheaper, smells a lot better than it did back at home, didn't it? And why is it the Toblerones are lit literally, they're literally that big, Toblerones are that big. You haven't bought your suitcase to fill with chocolate and perfumes, have you? No, you filled it with freaking clothes. You're either doing that, spending your money, walking around shops you don't want to go around, or, or buying coffee that you don't want, sort of thing. Just keep eating, and then you've got four hours to do nothing. You know what's running through your head? Bomb. You want to say it. You want to say BOMB! Not as because you've got a bomb. You want to say it for a bit of banter, don't you? You can't shout bomb, you can't say bomb, you can't say Osama, you can't say nothing to do with terrorism. Or well, you're a terrorist. Now you're on the plane. You know who you got next to you? Eh? Larry. Larry who's scared of flying. Now I'm not saying scared like, oh hold my hand, I'm a bit scared. Scared? I'm talking about scared, like fucking throwing up everywhere.
I don't mind flying. But you're getting a bit queasy, yeah? You're fair enough. You do feel a bit, ooh, on it. When it goes up, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you're not going to throw up. You feel a little bit like that, though. You've got Larry next to you. Who is throwing up? What the heck? You're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna hold it in if he's throwing up next show. You're gonna fucking, let's do it together! Share the f***ing sick bag! <laughs> this holiday is going well already. And uh, so you step off the plane. As soon as you get off the plane, you go, poof, you know. The heat wave that strikes you off the nice air conditioned plane is ridiculous. Literally feels like someone has gone. <laughs> Fuck! You, you can't breathe! You're like, what the? F How do people live here? And then the next morning comes. Yeah, the next morning. <sighs> Why do we eat three times more than we can even digest? I'm talking, they have the sausages, they have the bacon, they have the cereal, they have the milk, they have the orange juice, they have the ash browns. I have stuff that you wouldn't even dream of eating in the morning, like cakes and, oh sorry, cakes and muffins and all this jazz, alright? You have the bacon and whatnot, and go, I've got to have something for pudding. What are you having for pudding during breakfast time? So you consume for about five people before you even start the day. Why do you do this? Why do you pay £900 for a holiday to lay down in the sun? But most of the day you see people just you think they're dead, man, literally, and they're burnt. They're burnt. You're either sitting there, butt naked, tanning, right, for no reason. You could be enjoying yourself, but no, you're going to sit down. If you're not butt naked, you wear what you want. So I've gone for the English look, right? I don't know if you can see, I'm going to stand on my chair, right? I've gone for the nice English look, yeah? Nice English, uh... <laughs> Look how fucking racist I look. Looks so British. Men are going around with like fucking tops, yeah? Tops that are longer than their shorts. So it looks like they're not wearing any pants whatsoever. What are they doing? Turns out he's wearing fucking speedos. Why do you wear speedos? You literally look like the nerd kid. His mum's just dressed, sent him down to the swimming pool, and he's gonna get bullied all the way home. And See them. What are these? What the fuck are these? Like I did on holiday. You see them toe fucking finger things. People wear the most stupid things on their feet. Sandals really piss me off. They're more sound than material. <coughs> Slapping against your sweaty little English white feet. You go, you go what's that? What's that? I was in fucking sandal boy over there. See, I don't, I don't know why that gets on my tits. Yeah, but it does. And then it gets to like, what, the last day? Shit. Haven't bought any of my family anything. I haven't bought myself anything. And I haven't bought my friends anything. <sighs> this is the biggest mistake. Why are we buying stuff that they don't want? You come home and you give your next door neighbour the packet of biscuits that they could have bought up the top of the road. Yeah, but it has Barcelona written on it. Shit. Like when people come back, back from Great Yarmouth, buy your rock. What are you trying to do? Rock my teeth? Like, you're not helping me here. Rock means nothing to me. It's not just buying for other people, it's also buying for yourself. But you'll buy coasters. You've got 40 coasters at home. Why are you buying coasters? But it, it says lands are grotty on it. So I formulated a plan. What you do need, how do you dry yourself? With a towel. Towels. Towels. Buy a towel. At least they'll have like the country's flag on, or the island's map, or anything like that. For me, that is the best thing to do. Right, I don't really have anything else to talk about on holidays. Uh, if you haven't already, like the video, uh, subscribe, and also share. I appreciate sharing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I've been Jasminda. <laughs> Take it easy. Buongiorno. And. Ariva Dirty, something like that, I'm not quite sure. Love it. We got it! Yes! Oh, no, no. No, no, we got the boat dummies!